Well, it's 12 o'clock. Um, good afternoon, everyone. The agenda for the special meeting of the Board of Directors for Wardell Street Townhouse LLC to be held Thursday, July the 15th, 2021 at noon in the Chambers 340 11, North 11th Street, Las Vegas, Nevada. All items on this agenda are for possible action unless otherwise noted. Roll call. President John Gressley. <clears throat> Secretary Scott Black. Here. Treasurer Fred Heron. Present. Director Valerie Craig. Here. Director Cheryl Davis. Director Sharon Davis. Here. Director Olivia Diaz. Here. Director William McCurdy II. Here. Director Tick Segerbloom. Here. Director Dan Shaw. Director Luciana Turner. A quorum is present and we are in compliance with the Nevada Open Meeting Law. Thank you. Uh, item number two, public comment. Here. Public comment during this period portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, come to the podium and give your name for the record. The amount of discussion as well as the amount of time for a single speaker is allowed may be limited. Public comment for this repetitious, slanderous, offensive, inflammatory amounts to attacks on or interferes with the rights of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules will be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Discussion and possible action. Public hearing may be declared open by the chairperson as required for any items on this agenda designated for discussion as possible action. Public comments, there's repetition, sl slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, amounts to a personal attack or interferes with the rights of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules would be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Has anyone like to come speak for any public comments? Is this on <coughs> Pardon? This is on the RAD program. What else? On the RAD Yes. <coughs> Seeing none, we move to item A. Approval to grant City of Las Vegas right of way easement at Wardell Street Townhouse. Background. The City of Las Vegas is seeking to undergo sidewalk widening project located on the corner of Harris Avenue and Wardell Street to allow easier pedestrian travel, accessibility, and to ensure the site <coughs> around the corner remains unobstructed. The proposed project would run alongside the newly constructed Wardell Street Townhouse, APN 139-25-405-011, and impact acreage of the property. In pursuit of this project, the city proposed to purchase the land needed for the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority, Sandra. In efforts to be more transparent and expedite and simplify the process, the Sandra decided to grant the city the right-of-way easement at this location for the project. Action required. Authorize the president to get grant right-of-way easement to the city of Las Vegas at the Wardell Street Townhouse property project. Um, also, I would like to staff is recommended that we amend this agenda item <coughs> to include receiving approval to HUD prior to granting the right-of-way easement to the city of Las Vegas. Any public comment? Seeing none, the board have any, any questions? If there are no questions, I'd like to make a motion to approve item A. The motion is made to approve item A. I'm gonna get a second. <coughs> we receive a second on Mr. Davis. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Citizen participation. Items raised under this portion of the agenda cannot be deliberated or acted upon by the Board of Directors of Wardell Street Townhouse, LLC, until notice of the provision of the open meeting law has been complied with. If you wish to speak on the matter on or off the agenda, please step up to the podium, clearly state your name and address. In consideration of others, void repetition and, and limit your comments no more than three minutes to ensure all persons equal opportunity to speak on each subject matter will be limited to 12 minutes. As a courtesy, we will ask that those not speaking be seated and not interrupt the speaker or the directors. Are right, any citizen participation? Seeing none, uh, we need to adjourn. Agenda for the special meeting of the Board of Directors for the Wardell Street Townhouse Manager LLC to be held 
immediately following the Wardell Street Townhouse LLC meeting held on Thursday, July the 15th, 2021, in the chambers, in the commission chambers at 340 North 11th Street, Las Vegas, Nevada. All items on the agenda are for possible action unless otherwise noted. Roll call. President John Gressley. Secretary Scott Black. Here. Treasurer Fred Herring. Present. Director Valerie Craig. Present. Director Cheryl Davis. Here. Director Sharon Davis. Here. Director Olivia Diaz. Here. Director William McCurdy II. Here. Director Tick Sagerbloom. Here. Director Dan Shaw. Director Luciana Turner. Our quorum is present and we are in compliance with the Nevada Open Meeting Law. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, come to, come to the podium, give your name for the record. The amount of discussion as well as the amount of time for any single speaker that is allowed may be limited. Public comment that is repetition, slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, amounts to personal attack or interferes with the right of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules will be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Number three, uh, for, for discussion and possible action. Public hearing may be declared open by the chairperson as required. For any other items on this agenda designated for discussion and possible action, public comment that is repetition, slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, or amounts to personal attack or, or interferes with the right of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules will be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Uh, item A, approval to grant the City of Las Vegas right away easement at Wardell Street Townhouse. Background, the City of Las Vegas is seeking to undergo sidewalk widening project located on the corner of Harris Avenue and Wardell Street to allow easier pedestrian travel accessibility and to ensure a line of sight around the corner remain unobstructed. The proposed project will run alongside the newly constructed Wardell Street Townhouses, APN, 139-25-405-011 and impact the acres of the property. In pursuit of this property project, the city proposed to purchase the land needed for the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority, Sandra, in an attempt to be more transparent and to expedite this and simplify the process, Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority decided to grant the city a right of way easement at this location for the project. Action requested. Authorize the president to grant a right-of-way easement to the city of Las Vegas at the Wardell Street project. And we also would like to include um, the staff recommend that we, this agenda item be approved by the board prior uh, to HUD approval. Initially HUD approval, then we would have the board um, approve this item as well. So, Citizen participation? Seeing none. Can you make the city, when the, when the I'll move for her. approval. Use that that Wardell Street if they went with the um, with the underground tunnel or whatever. Isn't that what they said? No, I'm not aware of that. That was 28th and, Cedar. 28th and Cedar. Oh, it's different, not Wardell. Different property. Different property. Isn't Wardell right there though? It, it, yeah, but this this parcel, if I, if I may, Mr. President, the, this parcel doesn't affect what you're what you're discussing. The okay. DOT proposed above ground or mm -hmm. below ground expansion or re rebuild of the 95. It doesn't affect what we're talking about here. Okay. This is, this is just a curb cut for the handicap accessible. Are there any, any other um, participation? My name is St. Clair Haywood from Rose Garden. Just an interested citizen. What is this piece of land going to cost? I'm sorry? What's the cost? But there's no cost involved in this. No cost in buying the property? I'm sorry? There's no cost in buying the property? No, this, this, is, this, this item right here is for to allow um, the housing authority to give city access to the curb so they can cut the curb to make a handicap accessible. Okay. Thank you very much. And if I may, Mr. Chair, uh, just for the, um, the public's, um, I guess, uh, understanding, this is going to be a part of a larger initiative uh, that has taken place across the valley with multiple jurisdictions and what it is called is complete streets and you're going to see a lot more of this and basically what's happening is uh, the different municipalities in this case we're speaking to the city of las vegas 
We are making sure that our streets are more accessible. They're going to be wider. They're going to be beautified a little bit. And the goal is to make sure that uh, they're servicing the community in a much more efficient way that allows for more accessibility. Thank you. <clears throat> are there anyone else would like to speak on this issue? Um, Beatrice Turner, you know, that what they doing, it need to be did. Because if you see those people on their electric scooters and their wheelchairs and them sidewalks and stuff so small, they can't hardly go down the sidewalk and stuff. So that need to be did all over. Because, I mean, when they sidewalks like this and those wheelchairs be bigger than that, and they can't even, you know, they have to ride in the streets to, so they can go down the street. So this need to be did, and it need to be did all over. Thank you. Are there anyone else who would like to speak? Wadeen Patton, in reference to what she's saying, now, I live on Alton Decatur. Decatur has a, is, is a four lane. The street, the sidewalk is this big. Plus you have those different driveways that, because Fletcher Jones used to be on that corner, as you know, and they're building, they're building some more property there. But that's dangerous to walk from on Decatur, going down to the market or any place else. Are you saying that's gonna be done throughout Las Vegas? Uh, through you, Chair, to the resident. Uh, yes, it is. Um, and they are targeting uh, the streets based upon the funding and uh, from my estimation, I think is a very costly project, but it, as long as we continue to move throughout the valley and provide more uh, ADA accessibility and making the streets more walkable, which will in also include uh, bike striping and lanes and so on, um, <laughs> it's gonna help not only the residents, but also the different municipalities. So it's gonna definitely serve you well. Thank you. Anyone else would like to speak on this issue? Come to the podium. She had to speak on this on this agenda. Can you speak on the public comment? At the end of this agenda. Okay, at the end of this agenda. Is anyone else? No one else would like to speak. Um, does the board have any comments? Or motion? Motion been made by Ms. Cheryl Davis. A comment or question? I'm sorry. Who is it? How would this affect them, the residents that are in that area? How is it going to be um, for them to walk? Um, have they been laid out a path that's going to be easier for them to get what they need in reference to this um, construction that is going on on the new sidewalk? I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? I couldn't hear. I, didn't hear I was you. asking. How will this affect the resident? What route, pathway, walkway will they have to take to um, inconvenience them greatly? And what are the what are they going to do to help the residents that are already inconvenienced by what's going on with the sidewalk presently? Now that the construction is going, especially with some of the paratransit and some of the other people that might need more help getting to and from. Yeah, Are you speaking while the work is being done or after work is completed? Yes, while the work is being done. But what's the timeline to? Is the timeline? We don't, know. we don't have the timeline, Prince, but I can get that information for you. Do you have any other questions? I don't think the first one was addressed. How are the residents going to be able, where's the pathway, the walkway, how much are they going to be inconvenienced by the construction that's going to go on? I'm not familiar with, it, with that site, um, where the area is going to be done, but Mr. Stafford will be able to answer that question for you. Frank Stafford, Director of Development Modernization. This particular curb cut is on the northeast uh, portion of the Wardell property. Of course, when they're doing the work, that area will be blocked off, but 
the residents can still uh, gain access into the property from other entrances or exits or what have you, or they can just kind of walk around that section. We're only talking about a section of work that's probably roughly, I'd say, 12 feet in length by maybe 8 to 10 feet width. So it's a small section. Do you have any other questions? Are there any other questions from the board? Can you, I'm sorry, this is Commissioner Turner again. I could not hear the response. He stated that this area is it's going to be a small portion of the curb that's going to be cut about 12 feet and about 8 feet wide. Um, there will be other entrances where the residents can gain access to the building. Um, this part will be blocked off during the construction period. So oh, the transportation for people that need paratransit, those residents, it will still be available for them? Will it inconvenience them to get to the paratransit or for the paratransit to get to them? Well, they have other areas. This is just one section of the, of the, of the corner. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. This motion by, made by Ms. Davis with the second. Second by Mr. Sagerbloom. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any oppositions? On the ayes have it. Citizen participation. Items raised under this portion of the agenda cannot be deliberated or acted upon by the Board of Directors of Wardell Street Townhouse Manager LLC until notice provision of the open meeting law has been complied with. If you wish to speak on this matter on or off the agenda, please step up to the podium, state clearly your name, address. In consideration of others, avoid repetition and limit your comments to more than three minutes to ensure all <coughs> persons have equal opportunity to speak, to speak. Subject matter will be limited to 12 minutes as a courtesy, we would also ask that those not speaking be seated and not interrupt the speaker or the director. Has anyone like to speak? Yes, yeah, she did. We need to take up the mic because she came hard to go. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to be able to have a moment of your time today. Um, the reason why I'm coming to you is on behalf of this young man that's sitting here next to me. Um, uh, stressful situations and so forth with communication makes it very difficult, so I'm here as a friend to assist. And I would like for your permission for us to proceed. I don't know if you need him to state his name and his address or what information would be needed, but he's sitting right here next to me. Are we okay for me to continue speaking or do you guys want to ask him any questions first? I can give you a name and address, but is this item related to this item or this something or just going to go on the Center Valley Region Housing Authority Board item? Um, this would be something that uh, needs to be reviewed by Section 8 or the board. I'll unfortunately have to let you decide. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, can you state your this, this This item will probably be addressed at the Center Nevada Regional Housing Authority Board meeting, which will follow the affordable. We have two more, one more meeting at this one, and there will be another one after. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not allowed to speak right now. All right, thank you. Any other participation? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. Agenda for the regular meeting, Board of Directors Affordable Housing Program, Inc. to be held immediately after following Wardell Street Townhouse Manager LLC held on Thursday, July the 15th, 2021 in the Chambers, uh, 340 North 11th Street, Las Vegas, Nevada. All items on this agenda item for possible action, unless otherwise stated. Roll call. President John Gressley. Secretary Scott Black. Present. Treasurer Fred Heron. Present. Director Valerie Craig. Present. Director Cheryl Davis. Here. Director Sharon Davis. Here. Director Olivia Diaz. Here. Director William McCurdy II. Here. Director Tick Segerbloom. <laughs> Director Dan Shaw. Here. Director Luciana Turner. Present. A quorum is present and we are in compliant with Nevada open meeting law. Thank you. Public comment. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, come to the podium, give your name and for the record. The amount of discussion as well as the amount of time for any single speaker is allowed may be limited. Pu public comment that is 
repetition, slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, amounts to personal attack, or interferes with the rights of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules will, will be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Discussion for possible action. Public hearing may be declared open by the chairperson as required. For any uh, items on the agenda designated for discussion and possible action, public comment that is repetition, slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, amount to personal attacks or interference with the rights of other speakers is not allowed. Any person who acts in violation of these rules will be excused for the remainder of the meeting. Item A, approval to grant City of Las Vegas right of way easement at Wardell Street Townhouse. Background, the City of Las Vegas is seeking to undergo sidewalk widening project located at the corner of Harris and, and Harris Avenue and Wardell Street to allow easier pedestrian travel, accessibility, and to ensure line of sight around the corner remains unobstructed. The proposed project run along beside the newly constructed Waddell Street Townhouse, APN 139-25-405-011 and impact the acreage of the property. In pursuit of this project, the city has proposed to purchase the land needed from the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority, Sandra. In an attempt to be more transparent and to expedite and simplify the process, Sandra decided to grant the city a right-of-way easement at this location for this project. Action required. Authorize the president to gain right-of-way easement to the city of Las Vegas at the Wardell Street townhouse uh, properties. And we also, staff is recommended that we amend the agenda item to include receiving approval from HUD prior to granting this uh, right-of-way asset right away uh, easement to the city. Uh, are there any citizen participation on this item? No, it should have been the other one. Seeing none, um, I'll bring it to the board. Any questions? If there are no questions, I'd like to make a motion to approve this item. Uh, 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 motion approved the item by Mr. Scott, uh, Director Scott Black, second by Director Cheryl Davis, all in favor? Uh, are, there any, are there any oppositions? Seeing none, ayes have it. Uh, and citizen participation. Item raised on this portion of the agenda cannot be deliberated or acted upon by the Board of Directors of <coughs> Affordable Housing Program, Inc. until notice of, of the provision open meeting law has been complied with. If you wish to speak on the matter on or off the agenda, please step up to the podium, clearly state your name and address. In consideration for others, avoid repetition Limit your comments to no more than three minutes to ensure all persons have the equal opportunity to speak. Each subject matter will be limited to 12 minutes. <clears throat> As a courtesy, we will ask those not speaking be seated and not interrupt the speaker or the director. Are there any citizen participation at this time? Is this the final one? Sorry. Is this the final one? Is this <coughs> sorry. Is this the final one? Or is there no, we, we have another board meeting. Okay. You can't go no left Seeing none, um, meeting adjourned. And I would like to turn this meeting back over to uh, Chairman Scott. Thank you, Mr. Heron. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us here. I'd like to call to order the Board of Commissioners meeting of the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority to be held immediately following the Affordable Housing Program, Inc. AHP meeting on Thursday, July 15th, 2021 in the Commission Chambers here at 340 North 11th Street. This is a public meeting. At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Robinson if she'll help us with the roll call, please. Chairperson Scott Black. Here. Vice Chairperson Olivia Diaz. Present. Commissioner Valerie Craig. Present. Commissioner Cheryl Davis. Here. Commissioner Sharon Davis. Here. Commissioner William McCurdy II. Here. Commissioner Tick Sagerbloom. Here. Commissioner Dan Shaw. Commissioner Luciana Turner. Present. A quorum is present and we are in compliance with the Nevada Open Meeting Law. Thank you, Diamonique. Appreciate that. If you would all be so kind as to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Uh, really quick before we go to item number two, public comment. For those of us that are here um, in the commission chambers that are commission uh, or board members, if you would turn, make sure you turn your microphone on whenever you speak, vote, or make a motion so the folks, the other board members that are uh, joining us online today in a hybrid um, 
format will be able to hear. Thank you. Uh, item number two, public comment. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for discussion and possible action today. If you wish to be heard, come to the speaker's podium, clearly state your name and address, and please spell your last name for the record. The amount of time any single speaker is allowed will be limited to three minutes. If any member of the board wishes to extend the length of a presentation, this will be done by the chair or by the board by a majority vote. Any that would like to come forward and speak on posted agenda items this afternoon, now is the opportunity to do so. Seeing none, we'll close the public comment. And for the, for the folks that are here to speak during the second public comment, we really appreciate your patience and hanging here with us. We don't often have multiple meetings in a row, but we appreciate you, your patience and, and waiting till the very end of this meeting. Uh, item number three, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of June 17th, 2021. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes. We have a, a motion by Commissioner Cheryl Davis, and can we convert yours to a second, Mr. Segerblum? All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposition? That passes, thank you. Item number four, approval of the agenda with the inclusion of any emergency items or deletion of any items. Uh, Mr. Heron? There is no, no uh, okay, no modification to the agenda. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda as amended, or as, as posted. I'll move for that. Okay, we have a motion, is there a second? second. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Shaw, second by Ms. Sharon Davis. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That carries, thank you. Section two, consent agenda, which consists of items number five and six. Are there any uh, comments or discussion relative to the consent agenda from the board? If not, I'll entertain a motion. We have a motion by Commissioner Sharon Davis. Is there a second? I second. We have a second by Commissioner Valerie Craig. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes. Uh, item number seven, acknowledgement of our departed, Mr. Heron. Uh, thank you. Um, in the month of June, we had four residents who departed. Um, from Alberta Johnson's estate, Hector Redis, Demise Chain Kim, for Villa Capri, Shannon Clark, for Arthur Sartini Plaza, Arthur Ivory, and Benetta Lurchie. We'd like to give a uh, few seconds for a silence. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Item number eight, request for approval to grant an easement for right-of-way purposes to the city of Las Vegas at our Wardell Street townhome, <coughs> townhouses property. Mr. Heron. Background, <coughs> on March 22nd, 2021, the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority has con was contacted by the City of Las Vegas regarding the purchase of a small piece of land located at the corner of Harris and Wardell Street, which is newly created constructing Wardell Street townhouse property LPN 139-25-405-011. The city is planning the sidewalk improvement project that is located to widen the streets to allow easier pedestrian travel, accessibility, and to ensure line of sight around the corner remains unobstructed. Instead of the city purchasing a small piece of land needed, it decided that it would be expedient and transparent for the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority to grant an easement to the city for its use. Sandra has granted the city easement in other properties in the past for similar purposes. Action. Grant approval for the interim executive director to execute the grant the easement right away at the Wardell Street townhouses for the city of Las Vegas. And also we wanted to add in this agenda as well um, to amend this item uh, depending on approval from HUD. Thank you, Mr. Heron. Are there any comments from the public re regarding item number eight? Seeing none, we'll close the public uh, hearing and I'll turn it over to the board for any discussion or motion. Seeing and hearing none, I motion for approval of item number eight. Thank second. you. We have a motion by Commissioner McCurdy, second by Commissioner Segerbloom, all in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposition? That passes unanimously, thank you. Item number nine, approval of resolution number SNRHA 114, authorizing the executive director to execute any and all documents necessary to submit a rental assistance demonstration or RAD application to HUD, a tax exempt bond application and a low income housing tax credit application to the Nevada Housing Division and a home investment partnership program fund application to the city of Las Vegas and Clark County for financing for the conversion and redevelopment of James Down Towers. Mr. Heron. Um, background. In 2017, 
Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority has submitted several properties for HUD approval to convert them under the newly created Rental Assistance Demonstration Project, uh, RAD. HUD approved these requests and issued a chap for several properties. At this time, Sonia is requesting authorization for the Executive Director to execute and submit all documents necessary for the RAD conversion of Jamestown Tower. Action. The Executive Director requests the Board of Approval for Resolution Number SNRHA-114, authorizing the Executive Director to execute any and all documents necessary for the RAD conversion of the Jamestown Towers. Thank you, Mr. Heron. I'll open a public hearing on this item. Any individuals like to speak regarding agenda number nine, uh, item number nine? Me. Would you like a microphone, Ms. Turner? Yeah. Okay. You bet. Beatrice Turner. If um, James Down go over to the RAD, so um, the maintenance people won't be going to James Down doing their work orders anymore. It'll be new people there doing it. Possibly. Um, James Down needs some work did over there. So are these new people that's going to take over? Are they going to do be responsible to do the work at James Down? Well, it hasn't been decided whether it's going to be new people or our current staff. It depends on who's going to manage the property. Oh, that depends on who keeps the property. Correct. Oh, okay. But really what this does indicate, though, is, is an opportunity to redevelop it with a new, a new structure because of the aging aspects and the um, issues that are present there due to the age of the facility. So that's what this pro uh, proposal would, would uh, entertain, which is a, a complete redevelopment, which I think is a, a, a great benefit to uh, those residents. Any other comments from the public uh, during this uh, public hearing? Phyllis Carpenter, 5200 Alpine. Um, I thought in 2019, when we went to that meeting at the golf course, they said they wasn't doing any more RAD properties. Uh, you know what? Um, we are looking at all opportunities that are available to us to use leverage resources to improve the properties that we have. And so um, that's part of our, our strategy ongoing is to renovate um, and fix and repair or replace uh, aging properties. And this is one mechanism to, to do so. All right. I'll close the uh, public hearing and turn it over to the board for discussion. Any comments regarding this proposal? for a uh, RAD conversion application for James Down Towers? Do you have any questions, comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Yes, sir. And the resolution is included uh, within this item? Yes, sir. As well? Yes, sir, it is. And this is for the, uh, the home funds through the city as well as through Clark County, correct? Correct. So the, the and correct me if I'm wrong, Ms., uh, Mr. Heron or Mr. Stafford, but the way I understand it is the HUD application for the RAD conversion is, initiates the process and then we have resources that we're trying to leverage from other entities such as the home funds through Clark County, Las Vegas, and then the mixed income tax uh, credit financing will be the other piece to bring this all together to make it uh, feasible. Does that? Correct. And, and this item is just to get the executive director authorization to make to sign those documents. The initial application. Yeah. yeah to, to start the process. Yes. Appreciate the clarification. That's yes, sir. Thank you. You bet. Any other comments from the board relative to James Down Towers and the RAD application? Not all uh, accept a motion. Is Commissioner Turner? Com is, that you? is that you, Commissioner Turner? Yes, it is. Did you have a comment or were you making a motion? I'm making a comment, a question. Okay. Um, only because uh, if it is granted and, and we get approval, I was wondering what happens to those residents. Are they relocated and um, if approved, the timeline that it would take to renovate that and get the residents back, so they have to reapply, et cetera. This is, thank you, that's a great question. This is a very, it's a preliminary first step. So in terms of timelines and all those things, I think it's premature to be able to pinpoint those specifically. But from what I understand is that the residents will be um, given the opportunity to relocate and giving, given assistance to do so during the construction. Would you like to comment on that, Mr. Stafford, or was that accurate? That's correct. Okay. So they will, they will be assisted, supported, and accommodated in every way possible to uh, relocate during this, um, this reconstruction. And this, and, and this process will also be done in phases. And, and it will be done in phases. Thank you. 
Ms. Pa Dean Ms. Patton. Patton, Jamestown Towers. <laughs> now, Mr. Stafford was at Jamestown and had a meeting with the residents. All the residents didn't show up at meetings. None of them do. Okay. But what he was saying was when they, if, when the renovation starts, they're going to take it by wash. Jamestown is four stories. Yes. And he said 50 people, they would move 50 out to like Levy or Sartini or Ada Brandt. Now, Levy, Levy is a studio apartment. Jamestown Towers is one bedrooms. Most of us have my apartment. I have a queen size bed in my bedroom. I have a dresser, nightstand, TV, cedar chest. I have a couch, recliner chair in the living room, TV there. Levy will not work for me, and I don't want to put my stuff in storage. Well, we'll have to be as, as strategic and accommodating as we possibly can, considering circumstances like you just described. Right now, like he said, he said that if they're full, like they can't get us at none of the properties that Sonara owns, they might have to look into renting out apartments and have put your stuff put in storage. But you're not guaranteed to come back to the apartment that you left from. Now, me personally, I'm on the first floor. I have a problem with stairs. I had broke, broke my ankle. I was in a boot at one time. Elevators I don't do because I got stuck in one and I'm claustrophobic. Now, I, I know I have to have a reasonable request from my doctor stating that because I, I can't do stairs and I don't and I'm not going to do elevators. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Patton. I, I, will, I will say before, we did, did have a motion, correct, by Mr. Segerblum and was there a second? There's a second also with comment, additional comment. Okay. Yes, sir. So um, just listening to the residents, I think it would be um, in our best interest as a board in order to maintain transparency uh, to have put on a record once approved from HUD uh, and when the time comes much later down the road, we have uh, an update to the board on the process that's going to be rolled out to the community. Okay, that's a great point. And also I would say this is, this is a unique opportunity that we're embarking upon to renovate an older property. If I remember the date on the front of the building, I think it's as old as I am, so I'm still looking for some rad dollars to help renovate me. Um, so it's an old building and it needs help, and I think this is a great opportunity. Yeah, I know, you're right. I am pretty rad though, but um, that's a different kind of rad. So uh, it, it, it's going to, there will be some pinch points, some pain points, some inconvenience. It will be a challenge, and I think if we communicate, if we work together, if we exercise an added measure of patience when necessary, I think we'll be able to do the very best. Will it be perfect? It will not be perfect. Will it be bumpy? Yes, it will be bumpy. But the end result